I'm Jia Kim. Thank you for letting us tell you about our research on hypoxia improves hair inductivity of the papilla cells when nucleus does form mediate RS generation. Many people are suffering from alopecia. Most of them are trying to overcome this situation by taking medicines or hair transplantation. But this often causes adverse effect and their expense is coming in pretty high. Lately, using double popular cell, so-called DPCs, as treatment for alopecia is thought to be an alternative. Because they are deeply associated with hair size, hair shape, and even hair cycling. But using DPCs also has some limits. To use as a treatment, quite a number of intact functional DPCs should be collected. Unfortunately, securing and proliferating DPCs with a functional load is a hard to test. For these reasons, many of researchers, doctors, and medical specialists have a hard time to use DPCs as an alopecia treatment. And well, we found solution for using these harsh DPCs. They used specific conditions culturing hypoxia instead of using chemicals, which can increase proliferation and keep the functions of DPC as precaution taker. Hypoxia is known for regulating various physiological processes such as energy metabolism, cell proliferation, angiogenesis, and so on. We already have confirmed the effect of hypoxia in adipose tissue-derived stem cells. So we thought if the hypoxia should improve the limits of DPC, we would overcome the DPC's critical limits and we make it. As Dwing mentioned, there are big barriers to use DPC as treatment for alopecia or research which need a large number of DPC. Our team found that hypoxia condition increase proliferation and also delay the cell senescence. That is to say, we developed a new method of culture by using hypoxia condition. And we broke the previous limits of using DPC, excluding some of methods that are using chemical preconditioning or genetic modification. We believe that this achievement would give a very positive and promising influence on both the patient who is suffering from alopecia and dermatologists who want to provide progressive treatment for the patients. For the detail, with our finding, the number of collecting DPCs from surgical procedures will be decreased. This means the patients are no longer getting stressed with its painful surgical procedures. In addition, Obtaining a large number of DPCs is easier than ever. Therefore, the patients who need DPCs would get treatment at a reasonable price. Thank you for your listening.